What is going on, guys and gals? It's your boy Gaze Fifty Cal here, bring you kind of a dual subject commentary, if you will. Um, so yeah, so uh, let's get right into this. This is gonna be the other gun, the ARX Damnation. Now let's look at the stats on this piece of crap. It's gonna be minus one damage, plus two accuracy, minus one fire rate, plus one range, minus one handling. What does that all mean? Generally a just kinda okay version of the ARX, because let's face it, it's outclassed by the hole puncher, by far, and even the steel bite. You know, you like the steel bite. <clears throat> so what can we said about this gun? Um, you definitely have to run stock. Uh, just kind of a general thing I like with my burst rifles. Um, you don't have to run optics, even though in this video I am. Uh, I don't know why the hybrid sight felt good on it. I don't know. Come here. Uh, we're also be playing hardpoint, apparently. <laughs> because that was the only video that was worth recording. Uh, this is my first video back since uh, the Black Ops 3 beta. And... I, uh, I have kind of like a, a weird subject to talk about today, and it's, it has nothing to do with the gameplay, so the gameplay is just going to be going on in the background, and you'll see me wreck face a little bit, maybe, um, I don't even know, and, uh, so I'm going to talk about something, and it's kind of like a, I don't want to say like a taboo subject, because it really shouldn't be, um, we're going to talk about depression. And... The only, the only reason I'm talking about this is because... Um, and I know some of you guys are my coworkers, so leave his name out of this completely. Um, <clears throat> we, at my work, lost someone... Uh, I guess yesterday. Um, he, he, he had been dealing with depression for a long time, and... He had his own personal demons and stuff like that, um, which we're not going to get into at all, out of respect for him. <clears throat> and uh, it, it it's a little, it's very upsetting. It, it's it's very upsetting whenever you lose a friend. And I would consider us, you know, we were definitely work friends, and we hung out outside of work uh, a few times, and you know, just in general, he was a very good guy, and. Uh, he will definitely be missed, and I'm sorry for his family. Um, some of you guys may or may not know, I'm not always the most religious person in the world, but when I pray, it's it's for a good reason, so my prayers with him and his family. Um, but we're going to talk about depression. So, uh, strap in, guys. This is going to be a fun one. So, um, this isn't the first time I've lost somebody uh, who's lost their fight against depression. I mean... It's a, uh, it's a struggle, man. Yeah, I hope, I hope none of you guys, realize you guys get a lot of glare back from my glasses, because when I edit or play, I wear my glasses. Um, I hope you guys never have to deal with depression. Like, in, I don't mean, like, like, we all do at some point or another in our lives. I just, I just hope it's never to the point to where, you know, like this. I don't know, I just... So some people ask, you know, what is depression, you know? How you know if you're depressed? You know that feeling of just being sad? Like, you don't, can't really explain why, but you feel sad or anxious. You know, it's like kind of like, you know, you kind of feel anxious. It's linked with anxiety sometimes. And you don't understand why. That's depression. And when you figure out the reasons as to why you're depressed, it's not any... I'm not going to tell you it's easier to, to deal with that issue or just the issue of you being depressed in general because uh, it's definitely not and I lost an, a friend a long time ago and again guys leave these people's names out of this 
I lost a friend a long time ago. He was quite literally my best friend. I'm 28. Gonna be 29. And I lost this guy when I was 17. So I was about to be 18. Like literally, like, I think the next month. And we had been friends since he was two, I was three. Um, our moms had known each other or my mom and his aunt or something like that they went to high school together and kept in touch and stuff like that and he lost his fight with depression even though you'd never guess he was depressed man he was the happiest kid you'd ever meet he was always the goofball too like if there was anything wrong with you man he made sure that you know you were you were okay In a weird way, the person I lost recently was the same way, man. He was, a, he was funny, he was loud, he was absolute goofball. He was, he was awesome. You know, he was, he was the one who was more than willing to help you out if he could, you know. <clears throat> but I guess the, the main point I'm trying to make here, guys, is if you're depressed, if you're feeling depressed, don't be afraid to reach out to somebody, but reach out to somebody that you trust. If some people will just tell you, you know, well, just just cheer up, just cheer up. It's not, it's not that easy, and <laughs> and some people won't understand it. And you know, for I'm not a not a real touchy feely kind of person. I mean, I I never have been. Um, but then again, most of my life I've been bitter. But I do know what depression is. I've I've dealt with it. I've dealt with it myself, and I still deal with it to a certain degree. You know, I and I reached out to you know a couple of my friends who just told me just you know cheer up, man. There's there's always something worse you know that could happen, and you then you sit there and you think about what the worst could be, and then. You, it's a weird spiral, but when you find the person who understands what you're talking about, like, and I'm not seeing, I'm not saying, you know, seek professional help, but if that is the case, if you, if you need it, man, do it. Like, don't be afraid not to do it. Dear God, don't be afraid to seek out help. Yes, you, some people will reject and not understand you, but man... Find the fucking person that does, because, I mean, it is not right to have to deal with any of this by yourself or on your own. I mean... The point I'm trying to make is that no matter what, guys, if you ever have those feelings of any kind, like, no bullshit, like, you feel like this, there is nothing else I can do, it is time for, I cannot live anymore... Don't fucking do it, man. Just don't fucking do it. It's not worth it. I'm sorry this video took a dark turn, guys. Um, it. Listen, I'll miss my friends. I always will. Let me know if you guys want me to do an extension video on this, because this is actually a subject that matters a lot to me. As always, guys, it's been your boy, Gaze50Cal, and I'm out.